Of course, we're going to talk about your new book in a second, but we got to start with the New York Knicks right now in playoff <laughs> position. How good does it feel as a diehard Knicks fan to see them playing this well? It feels amazing, but it's fool's gold right now, man. We got to sustain. I can mm. never get too excited. I got to stay even killed, but I'm excited for the future. I like the, I like the way that things are moving for sure. Action, thank you for joining the show. I'm really humbled that you took your valuable real estate in bars to shout me out in the record. It has given me so I much mean, cred over the years. I appreciate that. I just wanted, you know, it's because you, to be honest, you haven't aged a minute. You look absolutely phenomenal. Your skin is, your exuberance is just like, I just want to, I just want to commend you as a fellow Albanian. Thank you, family. I appreciate the love. And now, my brother, your Knicks, as Jacoby mentioned, are in the AFC. What would it mean to you to see them playing in the playoffs this year? It would mean the world, but you know, like like I said, we got to take things slowly. I'm looking towards the future. I'm not worried about this year. This year, we already. I'm I'm giving it up this year just to make sure that we build. It's all about building and sustainability. Look at this man right here. That's a man playing right there. Mm -hmm. Jay Julius Randall, that's a, man, that's, a, that's a man playing right there. You know what I mean? That's a piece right there that needs to be on the Knicks forever. So of Sign course, him up. you're a Knicks fan, and now the Brooklyn Nets are in town. They've got three superstars, future Hall of Famers. What's the difference between Knicks fans and Nets fans? The city loves a winner. I'll tell you that much. There's a lot of new, a lot of new Brooklyn fans. But the Knicks are the, the Knicks are the homestay. You know, this is this is hallowed ground, the Madison Square Garden. Mm -hmm. This is not, it's not, it's not temporary stuff. It hasn't, it's been here for years. This is some Greco-Roman wildness. You know what I mean? <laughs> so at the end of the day, like I said, no hate on anybody. I just want everyone to do well, and especially in the tri-state area. Michael Jordan is considered the GOAT, but there are a couple of fan bases, Detroit. Indiana and the mm. Knickerbockers that yeah. didn't necessarily cheer for Michael Jordan. How yeah, are you man. as it relates to rocking his shoes? <laughs> I would never put a <laughs> pair of Michael Jordan shoes on. The only time <laughs> I've had them on, I had them on when I was young and it was a mistake. But <laughs> when I play in the CC Sabathia, you know, uh, celebrity all-star softball game, I have to wear them just as a show of respect. But I put black tape over the Jordan symbol. <laughs> Listen, for me, Shaq, I'm a Shaq guy. Shaquille O'Neal is my guy. Mm. You know why I mean? she, why she she explain to us why Shaquille O'Neal is your guy. For, he has songs with legends. He's done crazy <laughs> He's just a nice guy. He comes off like he's somebody that you want to look up to. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Look at what he just did. He bought that ring for, you just, you know, he just does amazing things. He's just the type of dude that, I don't know, I just want to do a song with him. Well, this is the show that makes things happen like that. Big Diesel is a fan and supporter of the show. And you're right, that Biggie verse, when he was like, Ooh. condos with elevators in them. Ooh. <laughs> and the Fushnickens join. He has so much heat. He has heat. No Hooks with RZA is one of my favorites as well. Exactly, and you know what I mean? Come on, bro. He has fire. We could go on. He has for days. Heat. Well, I also know that you're a Jets fan, and they've Oof, got a big uh, decision coming up with the NFL draft. What do you think they should do over at my number head. two? <laughs> I don't know, bro. Who the hell knows? I like that receiver out of Ohio State. You know, like I said, the Jets is just it, the team. It's been unbelievably bad. You want to wear the bag over your head. I want to put my whole, I want to wear a whole potato sack. I want to put my body in a potato sack when I watch that team. I don't even know what to do. Trade everything away, bring back. I don't even know, man. I don't even know. I don't know what to do. Well, I'm just frustrated. That, I'm a frustrated fan. I know, I'm a Detroit Lions fan. I understand where you're coming from. One Oof. of the things you have seemed to master is your health and improving Ooh, wow. it. Can you talk about that journey and your book that you've yeah, been sharing man. with your audience? Um, the you know, I had it. I had to get myself together. I was close to 400, 
You know what I mean? There's not a long life for someone that big. And you see me right here with the four, with the 500 pound farmer's walk, with the farmer's carry. I'm just, I, I had to unlock my genetics, my animalisticness. And I think mm -hmm. that I've done that, man. You know, I, I'm a born athlete. If I was taller, I would have been in all different leagues. Well, we appreciate that. And you should be able to get the book <laughs> anywhere. Roy, the, Roy, the Roy Wilkins League in Jamaica, Queens. <laughs> Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.